I started work at Foster and Partners in January 2011. Uh, I was approached by Foster and Partners in 2010, at the end of 2010, and they asked me to set up an internal structural team within the practice. Being a, a senior partner, uh, the leader of the group at Foster and Partners, has widened my perspective on design. But when I joined the company, I particularly felt this that I was part of a culture, a culture of design, a constant discussion about design. My particular feeling about Foster and Partners, working inside Foster and Partners, is this intense discussion and questioning of the best way to evolve both a design and uh, a design philosophy. Constant curiosity, constant examination and questioning. I think often in design people focus on coming up with ideas for design, which is of course very important, but the other feature of design is selecting ideas, appraising them, deciding which ideas should be pursued and which, can, which uh, have reached the end of their, of their useful uh, period of reflection. And the thing that I was, became very aware of with Norman is that he would take on a lot of information and then would have a, a really interesting uh, judgment about which way a project should evolve. His ability to assimilate a lot of information and then um, take a view on it, to, to do a critique of a project. We've delivered Apple stores all over the world as an integrated team. Architects, structural engineers, environmental engineers, and that incorporates mechanical, electrical, public health, and they are extremely closely integrated. We've put a huge amount of services um, into very tight spaces, so everything has been designed in three dimensions to fit extremely exactly into very confined spaces, and, and I think that's been the particular challenge of, of the Apple stores. And the result of that is, ostensibly from the outside, those stores look quite similar. There's a design theme that runs through them, and yet each one of them responds to particular constraints for each site that we arrive in. I think that the way Norman has changed the design of skyscrapers is particularly in, the, in this overall approach to looking at the constraints and opportunities in a project before you start looking at the outside of it. So you can see a lot of towers, still now but for a long time, which are really designed from the outside. They're a shape. They're all basically the same tower. They're built in the same way. They have pretty much the same structure and slightly different facades. And that's not the way Norman approaches buildings. It's not the way Foster and Partners approach buildings. So one example of that might be Commerce Bank, which I think is a beautiful building. I had no part in it, but a beautiful building uh, where you have these series of individual spaces, garden spaces up the building, uh, which are addressed by the offices around them. The cores are moved to the side. Three cores are moved to the side to leave an internal open space. That's a uh, extremely unusual design for a building and it completely changes the way that the people use it, the, uh, the building occupants use it. The point about the Foster integrated offer is that we're all directed towards one design. So the, the, the disciplines within the practice, engineering, structural engineering, mechanical, environmental engineering, along with the architects, are all directed into one uh, one direction. I see that in the future the practice will continue to evolve particularly in the direction of sustainability. The practice has always been concerned, uh, has always addressed sustainability because it's addressed efficiency. It's always wanted to develop solutions which are efficient in the widest sense of the word. We're at the forefront of that and we're measuring progress and that's a very big deal. To measure what you're doing rather than talking about it to me is the differentiator.
I have a particular memory of becoming aware of Norman's approach to design when I saw a show, a TV show, a 10 minute, very short uh, TV program uh, where each architect, several architects have been selected to choose their favorite building. And Norman chose a Boeing 747. And Norman explained his design philosophy by referring to the design of a 747. And it really made an impact because I thought it was a beautiful way to describe design and a, and a fantastic example.